look like a country music star. I know, I thought I'd go with the theme. I and, like you know. it. Oh, Can I just you. ask you one question? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right, I actually just ate a sandwich. Oh, okay. that's good. <laughs> We're safe. Oh, I'm fine. You I'm know fine. what you're like when you're hungry. <laughs> I know, I'm not going to lie, I do get a bit hangry, but yeah, that's one of my downfalls. That must have been amazing to go out to America. It was. I've always wanted to go Nashville. I don't think people don't really know that side of me, but um, so to actually get to go and work with amazing people, got to work with some songwriters who have wrote for people like Kerry Underwood, and I was like, wow. Oh my God. Like she, I'm not her biggest fan, so it was just an amazing experience. Wow. How did they take to you? Did they did they get you? Um, not everyone did. Mm. Everyone was a little bit wary. They were a bit like, oh, she's from a reality show. Um, she probably can't sing. And then I was just getting up and I was going to the actual real open mic, like songwriting sessions where you go in and just sing your own song and. People were quite like taken back by it. Mm. It was it was good. You have like. actually got a really good voice yeah, as well. Yeah. I'm not really surprised. Look, it, can, sorry, can I ask you? Yeah. You've been on a lot of reality shows. Mm. I mean, I didn't even know that you that country singing was even a passion of yours. Yeah. Do you feel like you had to create this character, Megan, mm. that is really loud and gets everybody's attention to actually pursue this career that you're on now? Because. Mm. I just think that's an interesting question because some people might say, well, why didn't you just stick? You've got such a beautiful voice. Why not just go to that, you know, ultimate goal the, the, the way most people do? I mean, reality TV wasn't the route I wanted to go down. And it was just really out of the blue. I got contacted on Twitter and I was just in a job. I was working in an estate agent and I was really unhappy. And I got the chance. I was like... A TV show was like, we'll fly you to Mexico and you can film for a month. And I was thinking, this is just what I need. So I did it, not realising what would actually come out of it. Mm. And then when I, when I come out so of that... So X on the beach? just X on the beach. And I come out of that and then I got Big Brother. And I was thinking, what? Why do they want me? Like, I was so baffled that they yeah. actually wanted to take me on. And it kind of just went from one thing to the other. So I've never... It wasn't, like, in my... Like, I wasn't aiming to do that. Well, if, if it wasn't in your sort of plan, do you mm. worry then that how you've sometimes come across on reality TV show when you get mangry, <laughs> um, <laughs> that can maybe hold you back from um, doing what you want to do? It is like, it is something I spoke to my mum about before I went on. I was like, do you think this is the right route? My mum was like, this could damage your singing career. <laughs> like, and I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to do it because you never know what's going to come out of, you know, and being do you on think things. you'd have had the opportunity to go out to Nashville had you not done reality TV? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I've always wanted to go, but we never had the money to afford yeah, to go sure. and fly out. So when I had the chance for my TV, I was like, what? No way! Like, I'm so excited. So I suppose it has opened other doorways for me. I'm glad I've done it, because yeah, I would yeah. never have had this now. Yeah, yeah. But singing has always been my passion. Well, why don't you give us a little bit of a song now? OK. Really? <laughs> Let's hear your voice. You've got a lovely voice. Go on. <laughs> not the American anthem. Not the American anthem. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. You remember me when the west wind moves among the fields of barley, and you can tell the sun in its jealous sky when we walked in fields of gold. Oh. <laughs> Pete. Pete's good. So you're back on? We're back on. Yeah. Like, do you know what? I'm just, I'm really happy with how things are. And do you know what? I know we had a bit of a nasty breakup, as you guys might have seen on Towie, but we, that break apart, we had three months apart, it was the best thing we could have ever done because now we're back together. It's like a new relationship. We went Vegas, had an amazing holiday. And Are you worried that going back into Towie and being in that relationship might spark the same kind of... Fumes. Yeah, it is It is a worry, but, like, we've kind of started it with a clean slate. We're not going to bring up the past. And, you know, any relationship in the public eye is hard. Yeah. I feel like we do get picked out a little bit, you know, mm. on Twitter. There's a few trolls on there. They're always saying things, but I just press the block button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you... Sorry, can I just ask you, what do your Towie co-stars think of your singing, the Nashville thing that you've just done? Um, I mean, like... Not everybody gets on yeah. <laughs> on The Only Way's Essex, but, like, I suppose it's drama, Essex. But 
a lot of them have been really supportive. Like, I've got really close friends on there at the moment, my family, friends, and it's just... So I'm really happy with, with how it's going. Do you think they're a bit jealous? Because you are really talented. <laughs> Do you think there might be a bit of jealousy going on? Because you're doing so well. You've got your own show. I can't believe it. A singing career. I mean, I think I'm the only singer on there. So I don't think they've got to be jealous about the singing. But, you know, it, it's everybody's kind of on the show for the same thing, aren't they? Like, everybody yeah. likes to be on... On the telly, I you're suppose. So, you're so, you know, speak your mind. That was quite a political answer. <laughs> that really was for you. I've seen a different side of you. No, no, no. I am sweating right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what they taught you in Nashville, but it worked. <laughs>